If you need to get any electronics here in Japan, this is the place to go. Let's check it out. Welcome to Edeon, Japanese Best Buy. It has basically everything you could ever ask for, whether it's fans for cooling or heaters, to coffee makers or the water boilers, really fancy, computer, laptop, gaming gadgets, to phones, phones accessories, and if you're feeling kind of old school, they got these classic phones too, and faxes, people still use that have cameras if you want digital or we have the old school if you want a little retro and of course what Best Buy isn't complete without TV section TVs for all the latest and greatest in HD 4k 8k maybe and we even have electronic dictionaries if you're trying to study catch up on language and of course headphones if you want to get those earbuds wireless and we have these little iPods mp3 players and just like Best Buy this place is really really competitive they have great prices and they have everything you need all in one location so super super convenient but Edeon isn't all just entertainment tech they have home appliances like gas cons if you want a steak they got steak they have grills they have toasters nabe pots Pretty much anything you think you need in the kitchen, they got it. They got you know, a little fish there, they got okonomiyaki, they have takoyaki, whatever food you want, they got it. If you need a rice cooker, they got them from $400 to $1,000 plus, get really nice and fancy. And of course, toothbrush if you want to stay hygienic, and of course, overpriced fitness goods that you don't really need. Water bottles if you're kind of thirsty on the go, you need some agua. And if you're feeling stressed after a crazy day of work, they got massagers. And of course, because this is Japan, we have electronic pianos. Some of them really, really nice. A lot of them are MIDI keyboard compatible as well. And in Japan, basically every appliance store is going to have overpriced Dyson. And then they have the other ones kind of tucked away. Some of them are really, really fancy. They have a two-in-one combo where they combine. Super cool. They also sell the fancy electric bidet and these amazing ones that know when Papa's coming home for four grand. And then you have in Japan, you can also remodel your kitchen. And what's nice about the bathrooms here is that the interior is often made of plastic. So you can just like buy a new bath area. Really interesting, really amazing. And what I love about Japanese lights is that they use this special sort of LED kind of technology where bam, they have yellow, white light kind of controls and you can control how bright they are, how dim they are, how yellow and white they are. Amazing. But all of that pales in comparison to this. Bluetooth LED light speakers? Yes! So unnecessary, but yes, I want! And if you're getting ready to move, this is also the place to go. You get all of your washing machines, some of them even have washer and dryer built in. Though in Japan they can get really, really expensive. They have air conditioners and in Japan they have really fancy ones that even like sense your body temperature in the room and automatically adjust temperatures according to your set preferences. What? What the fuck? They have the Isle of Fridges and in Japan, the most, I think, difficult thing is just like picking which one to buy. Of course, they have a bunch of different prices, models, sizes, depending on your layout. Really, really amazing technology here. I, it's like candy for me. It's like Candyland. I love it. Absolutely love it. But because Japan's, just, I don't know, they have too much time on their hands. They even made double door fridges. And they fill all their fridges with beer. Amazing. Here is a typical sort of refrigerator. You have the double door, kind of like America and the States. But the way they outline things is a little different. They have like separate sort of uh, drawers if you want to put specifically vegetables or fruits kind of separate it from your meats and everything 
they have a bunch of different little platter things here and I actually really like that sort of shelf style uh, unlike a lot of American fridges they don't have the water or ice cube dispenser but I don't know I, I can deal without it that's fine and now we have the toy section and Japan has a really big thing for trains from a young age, a lot of boys and girls, they love and are obsessed with trains. And it makes sense, too. You can buy different train parts, um, different train models. Thomas the Tank Engine's really, really popular here. So a lot of my students often love Thomas the Tank Engine. And it kind of makes sense because... You know, the economy really depends on the train system. You know, wherever there's a major station, the economy in that area tends to boom. So, yeah, training from a young age. One of my students loves trains so much that he even memorizes all the different stops on a train line. Recently, he's been memorizing the ones in Tokyo for some reason. And often before our lesson starts, he'll just like write a bunch on the board while I'm preparing. And, and it's really interesting, really smart kid. But it reminded me of America, how a lot of American kids like Hot Wheels and love those little you know mini cars and you can buy some tracks and customize your own kind of courses in the same way Japanese kids love trains Americans are more with cars and Hot Wheels and it's kind of reflected in culture too which I think is really really interesting and if trains aren't your thing they also have monsters with Pokemon being as popular as ever a lot of my kids love Pokemon. Instead of learning all the uh, English vocabulary, a lot of those kids memorize all the like 900 plus Pokemon. It's both hilarious and amazing. I don't even recognize half these Pokemon now. Also this. But let's not forget the girl toys. They have a lot of dolls, uh, like home... I don't even know what to call it. Uh, Legos, that kind of stuff, uh, you know, little cutesy things here and there. Actually, it was around this point where one of the staff, like, approached me. He was wondering why I was filming everything, so I almost got kicked out of the store. It was kind of funny. And, of course, the mechas. Japan is all about mechas, pro models, kind of building their own figures and stuff. And, you know, they're really, really cool. A lot of amazing detail. They're fully bendable, movable. And compared to the States, they are way way cheaper. In America this would be like maybe $200. For the perfect grade it'd be $700. Here it's only BAM! $150. And if you want to rest like a Gundam pilot, they even have amazing Gundam relaxation chairs. After a long day of looking around Edeon here, I was pretty tired so time for me to take a nap. If you like the video, make sure you smash the like button, and down below let me know what you thought was the coolest thing about Edeon. I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you next time in the future. Peace.